Hi, my name is David and I'm a technical writer at Trolltech. Hi, my name is Jacek and uh, I'm a developer in Trolltech working on Qt Designer. In this demo, we're going to demonstrate Qt Designer by creating a small application. This application will be a Qt documentation browser. So we start Qt Designer and create a new main window for our application. We populate it with some buttons. The shortcut for changing a button label is F2. This is QText Browser, which will display our help page. It can display plain text, rich text, and even HTML. In this widget, we'll show what page we're looking at. Next, we have to lay out our form. And we can preview it. Right now, we are running Designer in the plastic style. We can, of course, also preview our form in a Windows style. Our next task is to define the signal slot connections between the widgets and our form. So the back button should send our browser back, the forward button should send it forward. These two connections ensure that our buttons are enabled and disabled when they should be. Actually, uh, we have the wrong signal here, so we can fix it. And this displays the currently selected link. Finally, the close button should close the form. And this concludes our signal slot connection. We save the form. some finishing touches. Now it's time to enter some code. Uh, we are using WordPad, but we suggest you use something else. If you are developing under Windows, you can use our brand new Visual Studio integration. And in case you are curious if I'm typing all of this in without making any mistakes, the answer is yes, that's what we do here at Toltec.
ready to compile our application. We create a project file automatically, and we create the make files to go with it. Finally, we compile the browser using the Visual Studio compiler. And now we're ready to show off our brand new documentation browser. You can recompile on Linux or on a Mac to get a native application for that system. But remember to tell your manager that the port will take months.